Hi everyone, this video is going to be for swatches of and my first impressions of Urban Decay's Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette. You can purchase this palette through Ulta, Sephora, and directly through Urban Decay's website. I will put a link in the description box to where you can find it, as well as a link to the full review at allurebeauty.com once that goes up. In this video, I will swatch the colors so you can truly see what they look like and also give you my first impressions, but the written review at the website is more thorough and comprehensive and done after I fully test out the palette. If you haven't checked out my most recent video, you can click on it here. I hope you're subscribed and let's get looking at this palette. So this is what the outside of the palette looks like. It is a very hefty, heavy weighted palette. Um, so it seems very sturdy and of very good quality. And it closes via a magnet. Here are the shadows inside, as you've already seen. You do get a full length or sized mirror and the palette retails for $58. We have a total of 15 shades in here, and as I always love, the pans have the actual names of the colors next to each pan. All right, so starting with the first row left to right, we're gonna first have the shade Blonde, which is a pale beige with a pink iridescent shift. Bathwater, which is a pale beige with gold pearl. Skimp, which is a pale nude satin. Steady, which is a medium rose with a metallic gold shift. And Punk, which is a reddish brown with a matte finish. All right, so there is row one of the swatches. All of these colors were buttery smooth um, on the skin. They have a really nice formulation to them and this matte shade was equally smooth on the skin when swatched. All right, for the next row, we start with Baby, which is a cool metallic rose. Anaheim, which is a light taupe brown with a matte finish. Stark, which is a nudie pink with a matte finish. Zone, which is a medium brown, also with a matte finish. And Sirius, which is a smoky gray with an iridescent floating pearl. Okay, and they are, are your colors from the second row. I would say these are pretty darn good. They're not quite as buttery as the ones that we swatched previously, but I do really appreciate that they are giving you a healthy number of matte shades. I feel like that's something that's lacking in a lot of bigger palettes. And for the last row, we have Pop, which is a pale coral with iridescent sparkle. Harajuku which is a metallic blue-pink with iridescent micro-shimmer. Danger, which is a deep metallic royal blue with blue micro-shimmer. 1987, which is a bright metallic yellow gold. And Blackout, which is the blackest black the matte finish. All right, so here is the bottom row. I would say compared to the other two, this one is more disappointing. You have a more chalky feel, uh, not as bright or intense of a color, not as smooth, even with this first shade here. Um, but I do really like this blue. It's really intense and pigmented and opaque. Um, this gold is really great too, and the black is maybe not the smoothest at first, but like a lot of um, even MAC shades, it does well once you layer it up. All right, so there are swatches of the Gwen Stefani palette by Urban Decay. It is 15 shades for $58, so I definitely don't think it's any sort of steal or bargain. It's certainly more affordable or a better deal when you consider the number of um, shades you're getting and breaking down the price of what each individual eyeshadow would cost if you bought it separately. But I think it will more depend on how much you were looking forward to that bright pink shade in the palette because if that's one of the shades that really draws you in, maybe uh, this palette not so much. I mean, it didn't by any means perform really, really terribly or poorly, but it's not going to be as good in quality as the other shades in the palette. 
If you don't care so much about that pink shade, actually I think this is a pretty excellent palette. The formula is pretty buttery smooth across the board and you get really good color and pigmentation on the shades. All right, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this palette. I hope that this video was helpful to you and that you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next one. This shade actually doesn't come across as well on the lids as I thought it would when swatching, but that said, all of these colors have great color to them and pigmentation. They all have a buttery, smooth, soft formulation. 